in Eastern Europe, basically I'm used to having uh, street dogs with rabies outside trying to eat you or something like that. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new, I'm Martin. Let you know the drill, like, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notifications, comment, share. I will appreciate every single one of those things. On this channel until now, we've spoken about stress of moving uh, to another country, about problems that you might face. So today I wanted to focus on something more positive and that's the 10 things I love about Germany. Actually, the list is longer than that. Uh, but I will limit it to 10 things today. Most likely in the future I'll make a part two of this video. FYI, Germany is hit by this huge he heat wave and right now I'm melting. I'm melting, melting! Oh, what a world, what a world! So if I look a little bit terrible, it's because it's 45 degrees right now in the room and I have two huge uh, lamps over here which are adding to the heat and it's, it's just crazy. So I'll start with the most obvious ones. I have the list here on my phone, just so I don't forget something. The list is quite long. So in first place is, of course, the life standard. The life standard here in Germany is uh, higher than, uh, I would say, most of the countries in the world by default. Uh, so this is a, a thing I really like and love here in Germany. Second thing is the health system, the health insurances, the doctors, everything. It's it's definitely better than the ones in Eastern Europe. You get a, a lot of things included uh, when you're insured. And, and basically you don't have to worry about anything when you're sick. Uh, you get some of the medicine for free when you have a prescription from your doctor. It's a really long topic. I'll dedicate a separate video to the German health system, but that's one of the most amazing health systems I've seen until now. So we're getting into the more uh, non-obvious things. Number three is the, uh, the lack of noise during relaxation hours. Germans love their quiet times, so almost everyone tends to the rules that you shouldn't uh, make noise after 10 o'clock or during the quiet hours in the afternoon, on weekends, Sundays, like that, as well as the quiet holidays, such as Halloween, for example, that's considered a quiet holiday, uh, so that means no partying. Uh, which is okay for the people that don't celebrate Halloween, since this is a Western holiday for me, it's not a problem, but if, if you really like Halloween, you might be disappointed in this. Number four is wildlife. Uh, in Eastern Europe, basically, I'm used to having uh, street dogs with rabies outside trying to eat you or something like that uh, and here I was really surprised that in in the backyard of the apartment building I'm living in I had wild rabbits you have tons of different birds on a Saturday or on a Sunday you basically just woke up to the sound of birds singing which is super awesome I also came across a couple of years uh, next to my office squirrels everything there is a lot of animals just running around near the city or inside the city like in the river that's flowing through the center of Nuremberg we have ducks geese I even saw in a lake nearby some swans so that's something really awesome also there is a, a huge protection against poachers here so that's why the animals are not afraid of people that much number five are the autobahns uh, even if you're not a car enthusiast like me uh, autobahns are an amazing thing basically they speed up transportation so much uh, that my perspective is totally changed since I'm here. You you don't measure things in kilometers; it's measured in times because uh, kilometers here are a relative thing. It, it really depends on your style of driving, on how fast you're okay to drive, on actually how fast your car as well goes. Uh, so people measure mostly traveling in time here and um, trips before i came here that are like two three hundred kilometers were a 
really a pain for me, uh, especially if I had to travel on poor roads in Eastern Europe. But here, 300 kilometers, that's nothing basically. I even made uh, road trips that I had to travel 1,000, uh, 1,200 kilometers in a day and barely felt that I traveled so many kilometers. Number six is the public transport system in Germany. Typically, I'm not a person that likes public transport. Uh, it's always annoying for me to uh, have to uh, push yourself in a full cart with other people and uh, just uh, touch each other and exchange sweat and stuff like that. It's just awful in my eyes. But here in Germany, the public transport is uh, super efficient. You don't have to wait long. Also, because of that, uh, usually there is plenty of room when you go inside. You don't have to get close with strangers. Number seven is the German post systems and their efficiency. Actually, they're owned by DHL and they're super efficient. have never used the post system so much in my life. I send uh, stuff, receive stuff on a daily basis and it's amazing with uh, same day, next day delivery here in, in uh, the area or latest in Germany up to two days, which is super awesome. Number eight is the general location of Germany. Basically, you're in the middle of Europe. If you want to visit most of the uh, interesting things outside of Germany, they're not too far away. Uh, worst case scenario, you, you need maybe eight or, or nine hours driving. Or if you want by plane, you can reach most of the things in an hour. That means uh, locations like Paris, uh, like Rome, London, uh, like uh, Poland. If you want to go Austria, the Alps, uh, Switzerland, it's ju just an amazing location. And the coolest thing, even more here is that Nuremberg is literally in the center of Europe. Uh, if you're more in the north parts of Germany, it might not be so easy to reach the southern parts, but Nuremberg is in the perfect location to reach everything. Number nine is the fact that most brands, like world-known brands, have their European headquarters here in Germany or most uh, famous brands are actually from Germany itself and have the, uh, their headquarters here, uh, like uh, Adidas, like uh, Mercedes, uh, for example, uh, for foreign uh, brands like Huawei and uh, Mazda and uh, a lot of others have their headquarters here, which leads to uh, two things. Basically, you get early access to a lot of new things. Also, you get uh, super interesting events organized by them, which are usually not organized in every single country in Europe. So this is a big deal. And number 10 are the bike lanes. There are a lot of bike lanes here in Germany. They really tend to the safety of the bikers. And I like it because of two reasons. First of all, it's uh, from a driver's perspective because uh, I drive a car mostly. That's a plus because I don't have to deal with uh, bikers coming in front of my car or driving in the road and blocking and uh, not having the opportunity to overtake them because of uh, oncoming traffic. And the second thing is when I do take out my bike, I know that I can feel safe driving and uh, I have uh, a separate place where to drive, separate rules to follow, uh, separate traffic lights uh, for bikers. One of the cool things is that on most bike lanes, the traffic light for the bikers lets them through first before letting the cars go, which is super cool because if someone is turning right, for example, the, the bikers are already in front of the car and the person driving can see them easily and not hit them because they were in his blind spot in a while. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Leave a like if you like my Star Wars shirt. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Hope to see you soon on my next videos. Bye.